OK, another little video. This one installs Pygame on, on your PC, um, which uh, kind of presupposes you've installed Python first. Otherwise, Python without Pygame, um, sorry, well, <laughs> Pygame without Python ain't going to end really well. Now, again, I'm on page 65 of the book, 65 pages in. Uh, and there you go. And on there it says how to add the Pygame library. Let's just do that, shall we? Uh, bottom, hit the hit the uh, button and uh, actually what you can do here's a here's a, a pro tip uh, hit it with the right hand mouse but you can't see my hand but my hand is now pressing the right hand button on the mouse there you go nothing's happened there you go so now I go Windows PowerShell that sounds good doesn't it uh, like, like sort of um, used to be called the command pod it's now called PowerShell uh, and the commands are a little bit different uh, but the command I want will work either way. Here it is. So now, look at the book. It says Pip, uh, who was a character. When well, it comes up, come on, here you go. Come on, well, you can get down. Waving my arms to speed it up. <laughs> waving your arms in front of a computer always speeds it up. I'm still waving them. <laughs> come on. Come on, you can do it. You can. Come on. Let's all cheer together. Come on, go, PowerShell. Come on, you can do this. Uh, just very slowly yes um even as we speak um great big lumps of program being loaded into memory um and uh, windows powershell has been readied readied in the wings and here we go it's finally made it so i can now go pip hang on what does it say in my thing it says um it's all pi game we go pi py oh click in the window otherwise it won't running at all py Oh, there's all my commands. <laughs> nice of you. I love computers. PY, which means run Python, uh, get hold of the pip program, and then go install uh, PYGAME, uh, and, that, and do it for this user. Now, this is going to install it on the machine. You will need to have a network connection. In fact, I'll start this now because it might take about a week. Uh, and what it does is Python goes off online, finds the latest Pi game, grabs all the bits, uh, and shoves them in the appropriate place, <laughs> which sounds awful. Uh, but it's now going off. It's, it also does things for dependencies, which means that if Pi game uses something else, which happens no, it doesn't, then um, it'll find the dependencies and get those installed as well. So at the end of this, we will have Pi game on our machine, and that's kind of important because the Snaps framework coming soon actually needs to have Pi game as well. It's saying successful. Um, I'm using pip version 9.0.3. A new version is available. Uh, that's a big worry. Yes, you can you can use pip to install a newer version of pip, which is kind of like an awesome uh, tigers eating their own tails kind of thing. Or is it snakes that do that? Anyway, uh, we're not going to do that because now we've got Pi game working. We can start using it in our games. So you can now flip to page 66 down at the example program, of which more in a second, uh, and see what it does. So that's Pi game on the machine, uh, and everybody's happy.